So is the housing market crash actually gonna happen? You keep hearing about it in the media, oh, the crash is coming, the crash is coming. Let's talk about it and make sure you stay to the end because there's a lot of information I wanna show you about how we got to this point and what's gonna happen next. Okay, so the buildup, COVID led to this to begin with. So housing was a pretty stable area, COVID happened, the government stepped in, we, they pushed mortgage rates way down low and the shift changes for what people wanted anymore. No one wanted to be in congested areas because of COVID. They wanted to start moving into the suburbs or from the suburbs to the country. And so the dynamics of what the demand was for housing definitely changed. As a result, with those changes and lower rates, housing demand skyrocketed. The problem with that though is demand shot up, supply started going down, 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 and then the prices went up, up, up. And the prices, we saw a pretty big run up. If you're a homeowner, it was great. If you weren't, it was a bad time to be buying because there was such a big demand out there and you kept looking and prices were going up every day. So what we start seeing is bidding wars going on, you know, multiple offers on the same house on the first day it went on our market. And we really had an unbalanced market. Unbalanced market is not healthy and we weren't in a good place. Yes, it was busy and yes, demand skyrocketed, but it's not a healthy place to be in. You want more of an equilibrium. So all of this with the Fed stimulus and everything else going on started leading to inflation. And as inflation happened, rates started going up. But as a result, rates went up quite a bit. And so we're starting to see the end of that. The Fed's figured out, hey, maybe we need to slow this inflation down. We're actually in an inflationary environment. And so as a result, we're starting to get towards the top. So when home prices and rates started moving up, we started to get more back to the equilibrium of the demand came down and supply started moving up and to get to that even bounce. Now we're not quite there yet, there's still not enough houses on the market, but it's getting a lot better. All right, so the question is, you know how it happened, but what's gonna happen next? At this point, the Fed was so far behind on inflation, they have to have a recession to control it. It's coming, we just don't know when. Could we already be in it? Yes, depends who you ask. But at some point, we're gonna have a recession. It's gonna have to be there to control inflation. Now, the good news about a recession is when it happens, inflation will come back down and then rates will come back down. Also, from a housing perspective, housing is gonna stay really strong because all the loans done since the last crash have been a pretty strict. If you've got a mortgage, you know you have to supply a lot of documentation and you know make sure we really qualify with credit. Also, the equity in these homes is through the roof. People have a historically high amount of equity in their home, which means they're much likely, less likely to get foreclosed on and stop making their payments when their house is worth less than they actually own. Well, because of this, when all this happens, we're gonna see prices cool off, but it's definitely not gonna crash. So if you ask me, which is kind of why you're here, I think we're already in a recession. I mean, we're not in the worst part of it yet, but we're definitely starting to see it in certain sectors for sure. The real estate market is starting to slow down. We've seen that, but supply is still an issue. If you're looking for a house right now, there's still not a ton listed and the ones are maybe not the best houses to buy. And the good news of all this is once inflation gets back under control, we will see mortgage rates start moving back down. Things are going to get back to that equilibrium I was talking about. It's going to make a lot better. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. And if this video does help, make sure you like it, comment and subscribe to my channel.